Eco Architectural, specializing in the creation of immersive shed and shed accessories. We're currently out of the office working on a large shed for old Granny Bird out in the mountains so she can make more of that secret jam of hers. Although her shed won't be ready till next spring, you can still strike a buy on August 30th over at the trade show on Bird Farm. We'll be there, so come say hello. Thanks for calling. All right, so you guys have been asking for another Carowinds construction update, and here you are. Obviously, we've been doing way too many Canada's Wonderland construction updates um, as things over there have been getting exciting, but things over at Carowinds are even getting are even more exciting now than they were previously. In fact, they're catching up on construction tenfold. Um, I cannot believe how fast-paced construction is moving at Carowinds. And I mean, I expect vertical by the like beginning of like September potentially with what I'm seeing. I mean, this is crazy how fast they're moving. But like, let's get to that in just a second. What about this teaser? So as the teasing campaign has um, progressed, it's gotten a lot more um, revealing and I guess red herring. I mean, there's a lot going on in these teasers that I'll discuss in a King's Island video coming out um, hopefully tomorrow. But um, lots going on. I mean, I, I see a direct link to um, Twisted Tim Timbers at King's Dominion, and I'm excited to see this whole lore that Cedar Fair is working on. I'm even more excited to see what is going on with this whole epic secret. Um, a lot of the times, us enthusiasts tend to forget that teasing campaigns are directed at um, general public as a whole and not just enthusiasts. So sometimes we overlook things, um, cough, cough, myself as well. Um, a lot of things that may be directed at general public. So for example, the Epic Secret might actually just end up being, you know, a break run show similar to that at Mystic Timbers. Um, so maybe it's just gonna be screens and some Epic stuff going on in there, or who knows, maybe it is an Epic Secret that we haven't seen yet. But just to get back to this construction update, lots have been going on at Carowinds. I mean, footers for the station, I think are done. Um, it could be a little wrong, but it looks like they're working. They were pouring footers for one side of the station, and now they're done the other side as well. By the time I'm making this video, but I mean, like from two weeks ago when I looked at this construction site, I was saying how quickly they were moving, and two weeks later, that's only getting quicker. I've never seen um, this large of a construction project move this quickly. You all remember my Canada's Wonderland construction updates, where I was like, "Oh wow, they're moving really quick." Well, the construction team on this project, from what I'm seeing, is a lot larger. Um, and that's probably why they're moving a lot, uh, a lot quicker. I mean, they get a very mild winter in Carowinds, so they definitely have that working in their favor. But it's still really interesting how quickly they're moving. Again, here you can see a lot of the water work they're, um, they're laying down. I mean, this is, in my opinion, probably for the coaster. We've seen the same thing at Wonderland. Um, it could also be for future expansion. I mean, this coaster is right next to the water park, so they could just be planning ahead and laying down all that water work. It, it'll be very interesting to see once they announce this coaster on, it looks like, August 30th. Now, that's a discussion in itself. So we have Canada's Wonderland announcing their new project on 2019. Sorry, on 2019. For 2019 on August 15th. And we have Carowinds announcing it August 30th. That brings up a great discussion that I'm going to talk about in detail right before the announcement because I think there's a lot going on. We're not even seeing a third part teasing a coaster at this moment, which is really interesting. I think Canada's Wonderland and Carowinds have a lot up their sleeves that we're not aware of yet. As a lot of you know, for as much as we know about these projects, we don't know a lot either. It's very confusing, and I think that's a great thing. I think these parks are going to blow us out of the water, hopefully knock on wood, because, I mean, 15 days in between announcements, that for coasters at Cedar Fair is very, in my opinion, unheard of. I have no idea what that gap could mean. I know Canada's Wonderland has a lot to announce. We're announcing most likely Winterfest, a hotel, um, the coaster, and uh, possibly a season pass, the gold pass they're launching at Canada's Wonderland from what I'm hearing. And there may even be something else thrown in there. I know there might be a restaurant and stuff, so who knows? And then Carowinds is probably going to announce a whole bundle of things as well. Carowinds is one of those parks that it, uh, that park is just growing at such an exponential rate. And I'm excited to see what they're going to announce on August 30th as well. I cannot wait. Um, but I can't begin to predict what they're going to announce because I don't have like those inside sources like I could do at other parks. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think Carowinds has up its sleeve? What is that epic secret involving um, the coaster and Granny um, 
Granny Beast. And what do you think Carowinds is going to announce for 2019? Is it just going to be the coaster? Or do you think you're going to see some other little things as well? We know Carowinds is under an expansion plan. And we know that a third park may not actually be getting a coaster in 2019 because we don't know anything about it yet. I'm actually predicting the third park may only get a super loop. Thus, it's just these. What do you guys think?